So if there's one thing that you could do this winter to improve your golf swing, the one thing I would have you improve is your arm structure. So I was giving a lesson the other day to one of our members online, and we're trying to improve his arm structure during the backswing and downswing. And I gave him this drill that I'm gonna show you, and essentially gave him that same thing. Hey, listen, if you could do 20 reps, let's say, multiple days per week for the next 30, 60, 90 days, we should see a massive improvement with arm structure, which should lead to much more consistency, the things we all want, solidness of contact, right? Good impact positions, hit the ball solid, higher, farther kind of begins and ends with good arm and wrist structure. So here's how we do this drill, and this is what I would like for you to do, you know, let's say five minutes daily or as close to daily as you can over the next 30 days and through the winter. When you take your normal setup position, I want you to hold the club in front of you, and we're gonna take a split hand grip. So I have my lead hand on the end of the club, I have my trail hand down here, kind of on this little sticker here, just outside the grip. And there's a couple pieces to this drill. The first piece is during the backswing to ensure that the arms stay wide enough, specifically, and for this gentleman, that the arm doesn't overbend. I see that issue all the time. I wanna have the arm be about 90 at the top. We're gonna feel like it stays a little bit wider. So split hand grip, and then during the backswing, I'd like you to feel like that right hand and arm are pushing into the shaft to the top of the backswing. So I'm here, I'm pushing my palm away from the target. Now notice as I'm doing that, I'm still having the club hinging up on plane, butt of the club's at the ball target line, but I'm pushing my right arm away. The shaft's not vertical here, it's not perfectly horizontal, I'm just kind of on a 45 degree angle, but I still hinged it right from face arm, kind of at like a 90 there. So part one of this is, hey, let's start to get this backswing structure. Push this away, push this away. Now from here, when we come through, it's gonna get a little bit tricky, you know, for the first time. I actually want you to have this hand be a little bit loose, and I want, as you're starting to come down, keep the arms in front with the split grip. Then from there, this is where the hand loose piece comes in, I want you to reattach the right hand to the left with the arm straight into the follow through. So take a couple to get used to it, but let's do a couple together here. So split hand grip, push away, get it back in front, reattach. Split hand grip, push away, get it back in front, reattach. Let's go ahead and hit with that same sensation. So we'll be doing you know, two or three rehearsals with that. I'm gonna take a club, feel the same thing. I'm pushing my right arm away, my arms are getting back down in front of me, and then I'm pushing the butt of the club away into the follow through. So I got good arm structure the whole way. I'm gonna take those same feels and hit with that. And the main objective here, like what I'm looking to start with, is solid contact. The gentleman that I was working with and what I want for you, you know, is to have this, get some of these swing issues out of your swing over this winter where the trail arm gets too bent, you know, maybe your left arm's too bent, your arms get too bent on the way down, you got that chicken wing follow through. We wanna have more width with the arms and the hands on the way back and through to get the contact, create more speed, all those things. So same thing, I like, you know, two to three rehearsals, hit a ball, use video and confirm, and then you're sort of adjusting your exaggeration. So split grip, push it away, back in front, reattach. Split grip, push that right hand away, back in front, reattach into the follow through. So for me, I feel like that right arm is really wider on the way back and on the way through. Like, I'm, like I have that arm pushing away during the backswing, away from the target, and then on the way through, it's pushing towards the target. Now, as you're doing this and you're feeling those, you know, this is easier and easier to do with good body motions, right? So for me to push this away, I'd like to have some good turning. Make sure that I'm still turning, tilting during my backswing. As I'm reattaching on the way through, I wanna turn as well, get my body fully facing the target. So it's really, yeah, I'm trying to get a couple things for free here, but it's right arm pushes away and then towards the target. Right arm away during the backswing, towards the target on the way through. And those are the things that I'm looking to start for for solid contact. So just check yourself when you're doing this drill to make sure that you're actually turning on both sides when you do it. Just do one more, split grip, push it away, back in front, recollect the hands. And if you're struggling with either side, you know, you can start with 
just the backswing feels. Just do the split grip during the backswing and actually get the arms wide going back. Like just start, if you need to, with this piece. Get this piece good. Then start to learn how to get the arms in front and then start to get the reattachment on the way through. So five minutes, right? If I could pick for you, one of the things to do over this window that's really important is getting the arm structure. Split hand grip, give that one a try. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching today's video. Now with all things golf swing related, if you really wanna guarantee that those changes you're gonna make are gonna make a huge improvement, not only in the practice area, but out on the course, the best way to get good feedback for yourself is through video feedback, but not any kind of video feedback, instant video feedback. You can see as you're swinging, what you're doing. That's what I do in my own game that I'm able to make fast changes. That's what I'd recommend for you. Live view golf is the best thing that I've found to do that. Let's go ahead and check that out. I want to talk to you today about live view golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to correlate the differences between your feels and your reels. Live view is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code.